Hello, it's Elaine Lessig with the Canine Chronicle Closet Confidential on their web page and on their Facebook page, and I have a star with us today. One of the icons of the dog world, a handler extraordinaire, Linda Pitts. And Linda is probably famous for a lot of things in dogs, but she's also pretty sharp with the clothes. So we thought we'd spend a day looking at some of Linda's clothes and, just, and learning why she picks them, what she does with them, how she uses them to her best advantage, and why she always looks so good. So Linda Pitts, how are you today? I'm great, how are you? I'm so glad we have time to do this. It's I'm really so wonderful. Glad we finally found time to do this. Absolutely, because we did know your nits if you go back onto the uh, episodes of Closet Confidential that are archived, and you'll understand why Linda has the positions that she has on some of the clothes that she wears and how she's very correct about the decisions that she makes. So Linda, give us a give us three things you really think about when you're picking an outfit. For me, it's just I know what I look like in clothes. I know my body shape. I know when it's 10 pounds too fat. I know when it looks just right. I know which clothes go with the fatter body shape and that's why I originally started wearing a lot of St. John is because I can't keep myself at one weight. I'm up and down and all over the place on the road eating fast food and truck stop food. So Truck stop? Well, okay. sometimes. So, so, <laughs> even though we try to be healthy but if you know what weight you're at you know you just try to have your clothes fit properly. So um, that's one thing I think about. Another thing I think about a lot is skirt length. Because Always been involved with sports and tennis when I was younger and then showing dogs all my life. So um, I don't have pretty girly legs and I want to make sure that my skirts hit right at my knee. And um, anything longer, I think, is kind of unflattering because it just kind of focuses on your calves. And it also makes you a little dowdy, which yeah. you are never dowdy. I try not to be dowdy. <laughs> and, um, you know, too short. Short skirts are great if you're young, I think, but not for in the ring. It's just about a professional look because you want to appear like you. Well, are you're bending over dogs. Right. And there's nothing I have seen enough of your underwear, girls, to please remember I don't need to see whatever is under that skirt. So let's put the skirts on that we don't have to have the view that you don't want people to see. Right. And the nice thing about the St. John skirts is you usually don't get that. If you have flowy dresses, the flowy dresses tend to billow out when you bend over and you get a full view from the back you of do. what's going and on. You do. And sometimes the front. And, well, and people don't even know that that's happening. And nobody wants to see that here. We just don't want to see it. Right. Any so. more than we want to see the plunging or the open neck scoop and then Everybody has a litter of puppies, and thank you very much. So, that's not a great look either, girls, because we love puppies, but not yours. Right, right. So tell me about some of the things that you, you, you specifically, I know you like the straight skirt, and St. John skirts do come, they're shorter, knee and longer but once they come in a length it's really difficult to have them altered you really it doesn't work as well yeah i i personally hem a lot of mine just because i when i find something when i do a lot of ebay shopping and i find something that's a really good deal or i'm trying to match a color that's hard to find and i find i've had a floor length skirt taken up to a knee length skirt and my girl's kind of used to it and she's used to me taking it back and saying no no has to be a little better. Right. And it, it's hard to sometimes get the hem looking quite right. It gets a little That's bulky. What, yes, it does. But she's learned to the surge it. Is that what we call it? When they, surge, when they yes. do the surge it flattens scene? Flattens the seam. Mm -hmm. So it looks kind of natural. But, um, well, for instance, like I like colors. I don't ever wear anything that's my skin color. Because no, wipes it, you right out. It's, it's, it's right. horrible look on me. Beige so, is beige. Uh, beige is beige. And so I like bright colors and primary colors. And one of the reasons like, I like this outfit, um, just because it has this jacket, which is just kind of a basic jacket you can wear at any dog show. And you could wear a cream skirt with it too if you wanted exactly. to. Exactly. Exactly. And then it has this jacket. So something like this I would wear at like a bigger weekend, like a fancier weekend. Spaniel Club. Spaniel Club, Louisville, Houston, something like that. I'm not really big on sparkles at dog shows on a regular basis and I think this is kind of like low-key a little bit. And also with a black skirt. With a black Fabulous. skirt for sure. And then under that, because this is one of those that okay. has the snaps and doesn't zip up the front, which is kind of my nemesis. 
clip? Well, we ha we did a, a, a segment on the glam cam, and somebody showed us a clip that they had gotten. And she said they were available like at the sewing stores. And it literally clipped her right here because she doesn't want her, her jackets to flare out. Mm -hmm. And um, if you go back and look on the glam cam episodes, you'll see it. And it just could have clipped her here, and it was a little bit of a rhinestone thing, and it worked. And she was she was um, naturally endowed, uh, and it made a really nice difference. And it, it was a neat appearance, and she wasn't dealing with this because I've stopped buying this style jacket because on me they they give me water wings. Right, and I don't mind these little clips that they have right here. They just don't always stay, and well, there's still some gapping in here. And so. I just put, so I have every color and like four of these little Spanx camis there you go. that they make because nothing's under these clothes except Spanx. Even my pantyhose is Spanx. So um, remember, know your knits, go back and look at that episode and we knits. say the more St. John you wear on the outside, the more Spanx you need on the inside and what Linda's saying about layers is exactly what we talk about. Right. So I, so I would put something really basic like this under, underneath because that's just something like that would be way too much competition right. for what's going on but here. But it would look good in, uh, if that was the right color under your suit exactly. that you're wearing now. Exactly. So if it was just really basic, then this would be perfect for it. So Good old compression. Good old compression. Yeah, it just holds everything together. And you know, Linda, what you've done here, and we're talking about the black tops and whatever, is you remember the five Easy Pieces episodes? You have a black skirt for this, a cream skirt for this, and here, and you've got five Easy Pieces. Mm -hmm. You got a whole and you got a whole big, weekend, long weekend yep, of clothes. Yep, and that's in a suitcase. And if you're flying, or if you don't have a spacious motorhome, or if you you know in a van, there you go. Mm hmm Exactly. Do you lay out your clothes before you begin, like say five day circuit or a three day circuit? <laughs> no, I literally load my closet up because I'm. Of my COVID-19, which I'd like to call the weight I gained while I was sitting at home in my pajamas, I never know what's going to fit or what's going to look right. So I put a lot of stuff in there, stuff that I know is bigger, stuff that I'm hoping I can fit in when I get there. And then I wake up in the morning and just go at it. And sometimes it takes two or three tries. Because sometimes I think something's going to fit, and it, I look in the mirror, you say in not a full-length mirror, Yep. and it's and like, yeah, no, not today. Do you have a three-sided mirror? No, I don't. I just, I have a, do I do that's a full-length mirror? I would find that too painful. <laughs> I don't, some, that's just too much look in the morning. But, um, you know, I, I personally would not wear a white skirt because I have, um, I'm curvier than a lot of people, so I think that Unless, if you're going to wear a white or a cream colored St. John skirt, it better be two sizes too big. Because when you're wearing the white skirts, you can always see people's panty lines. Well, you have to know lines. how to wear the panties that have no, this flat seams, and then you mm -hmm. have your Spanx, you know, little shorts, so to speak, and then a full length Spanx slip, which I'm wearing under this. Mm -hmm. And I find that I'm okay, and I do like, to, I, I would put a cream skirt on. And you could, right, but it would be hard for me. And then the people, a lot of people like to wear thong underwear, and you can see it. I think when you're wearing a cream skirt, a lot of times it's... Well, yes, you can, but if you take the time to put the Spanx little shorts on and to put the right. slip on and pantyhose on, mm -hmm. my God, <laughs> nothing right. moves. <laughs> well, I have Spanx pantyhose. I mean, they make a Spanx compression pantyhose that's heavy duty and I so I take it and when I don't wear like camis I literally like hike it up, up and stick it under my bra absolutely and, and so, if you're short-waisted like I am that's easy yeah and so it's it's all there don't even need a cami under most of my outfits but we were talking personally about these these pretty knits that St. John makes that, that pull easy yep these what do we call these we, a ribbon knit Yes, because yeah. the weave is going through the top, mm -hmm. and I stopped getting them for dog shows yeah, because I, um, I discovered that you have to travel with a, a crochet hook, and you work from the inside, and you have to literally find this, take it here, stick your, I'm not going to stick anything through, put your, your um, crochet hook under here and pull it through, and then straighten these out. Mm -hmm. See, this would be perfect because you've got the little hook on it, so you come up with the the, the crochet needle, hook it down, pull it through, and it'll look good. But who wants to spend two hours doing that? Yeah, see, if I go somewhere and I'm not going to show a bunch of dogs, I could wear this. And because from the front, it looks fine, 
basically, but then when you turn, you start to see the things that have happened. The other thing, if you can do it, and you can do it carefully, you've had somebody to do it, they can pull the thread and, and do a thing where they t do this with tie it, it off. and tie it off. Yeah. Like, you know, do that kind of yeah. a thing to it. My husband, who, who, who's stitched many people in his day, could probably do something like that, but... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is, I love this suit just because I love the buttons. It's just such an extra little thing. But, and again, this would be great with a navy skirt. And they they make a navy mm -hmm. skirt to go with it. And that might solve your problem, Linda. I actually was going to wear it th this weekend. This is one of those outfits that I tried on Friday morning. Looked in the mirror and went, oh no, not not quite yet. Maybe so we may be able to get a navy skirt and you, you'd be able to wear it. There you yeah. go. We all have to modify what we're thinking and what we have. And I, I don't know any woman who probably in her closet doesn't, if you're a size 8, doesn't have a 6 and a 10 mm -hmm. to go with it. And especially in these knits, they do give. Yeah. But you just and this doesn't give as much as a sand Because did. this mm -hmm. is the really thick stuff I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Remember, the more compression you get, and this is a perfect jacket to talk about it, the less you have to wear underneath because this does so much of it. But when you get into the thin knits, the ones where if you don't wear a slip, you should stay home. Um, because you can see through it. Mm -hmm. And that you have to wear more compression and layer it and do you know, anything you can. Otherwise, ladies, it is not attractive and I don't care how thin you are because some people who are super thin, we get to see their hip bones sticking out and that isn't pretty either. <laughs> right. So, and what else do you have? Oh, just... Have you ever counted how many suits you have? N no. Um, maybe you, maybe you should go to my house closet one day. Oh, I okay. Have a, I have a lot. So, I, it, so it would take a whole day? It would... It's a, a lot. But most of, most of them are older because I keep my clothes a long time. And I take really good care of them. I always keep them on these huggable hangers yep. that you can buy at Target. And like, for, okay, I'm just gonna give you for instance, I just bought this jacket two weeks ago on eBay because I love the little cute That's girly pretty. detail. Super cute, had this skirt from- And this does have a teeny, teeny bit of sparkle. Mm -hmm. It's a little shimmer. I already had this skirt in my closet. So I think I paid like $130 for that jacket on eBay. It was and that's really a way reasonable. to buy them. You can get great deals mm -hmm. on eBay, on Poshmark, sometimes mm -hmm. Trazy, on um, any of the sites that, re but remember, read every piece of detail that the, is given in the description. Make sure the people who have them put up pictures of everything because those people know how to sell and are smart about it and are helpful to you because if you can't see the jacket or the skirt or whatever else, it's like I told you about the bottoms of shoes, don't buy them. Yeah. Because somebody doesn't want you to see something. Yeah, check the seller rating. Yep, and check your seller rating. And also, just be super careful about measurements. How long is the arm? How long is the jacket? Mm -hmm. And then, and you should know these things. I, I'm good in a shorter jacket than some people yeah, like, I a, like jacket a, that jacket. I, not good for me, so I know 21 inches and longer I don't touch. I, not I know 21 inches and longer I don't touch. Mm -hmm. So those mm -hmm. are the things I do. This is beautiful. I think if you have if you have like a more of a curvier hourglass figure, the shorter jackets are really your friend. I agree. And a lot of people don't realize that because I know a couple girls that have lost some weight lately and they're still wearing their old style of clothing, which is long jackets that kind of cover up their midsection. And they the shorter jackets really are And the shorter a bit more jacket flattering. does cover your midsection. Mm -hmm. It takes you right from here to here thing. and and I show that a lot. It's really a compliment. Mm -hmm. And then you know, keeping a color line so that your eyes go from here to here is often a really good thing to do because just like the suit you're wearing, I mean, that's just a smooth, clean look. Right. That's very basic. Uh, this is how I. This is how I normally am very comfortable dressing. The suit I. I bet I've worn it 500 times. I've had it forever. There's not a pick on it, not a pull on it. I just like it. I had the sleeve shortened because I don't like things yeah. this long on me because I just do so much in the trimming, so I like everything three-quarter And I do the same, especially with judging because you don't want your sleeves on the dogs. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, when you're going over something, you know, with, with in, you know, you can actually, you can feel a lot of things just with your arm. And also the dogs, will, especially the toy dogs on the table will turn around and they can't, they can't eat my clothes, <laughs> which is a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, my philosophy is if I wear it to the dog show, I accept the fact that some dog might jump on me, either my skirt or my jacket, and there's no way that, that I can be anything but un un dissatisfied with myself. Because if you wear it, you own what happens to it.
and that's just kind of the way it is with mm -hmm. good clothes but good right. clothes also need good care they do and a tailor and hang them up when you're done a tailor them hang them up when you're done hang them on the right hangers and um, you know I don't I probably get three or four wearings out of every anything before I dry clean it and always dry clean the two suit pieces together because otherwise always the, yeah they can change color or, or whatever you know other things that happen do you keep your closet organized by color Yes. Okay. At and home, I do. Mm -hmm. So you have like all the brights and then all the yeah, solids. Yeah, I have, I have like my my off season clothes are in drawers. I try to put everything in a drawer with um, like the mothball things. Okay. And then my things that are all year and current season are hung up okay. in my closet. So you don't take the time like to put things on the clothes rack and see the ones you want as you as you're making that decision. It's just everything or nothing. It's a lot. It's just like. This will fit. This will fit. This will fit. And I probably got twenty suits in the back. So, and by and by what I like, process of elimination. Then I start. I start my day. Like there you this go. one, I love this, and I put it on, and it's about five pounds too tight. So it's just going to have to wait for another month until we get there. And I've been every size and every weight you can imagine in my lifetime. So I really know what works. <laughs> what works for me, and when it's not working. I think. I think. I know very few women, well, and, and the ones that do that have had five children and still look svelte, I mean, really, mm -hmm. so that's just not fair. <laughs> so show us another one, a green suit over there, I see. Um, yeah, this, this one I brought out just because this is, this is about as much sparkle as that would work for me at a normal dog show, you know, okay. like at a fancy show like Louisville or Houston or something like that, Orlando any of the bigger shows I mean it's it's just kind of like really subtle and I like it and what I also like about it is that 100 people also don't own this outfit because okay. it's, it's older right so the, the problem now is that everybody's kind of looked at St. John and they're all connected to the outlet so the, the minute things go on or their sale, salesperson <laughs> their salesperson <laughs> right. then we have a lot of a lot of same and similars another place on. I have found some really um, if you're looking for St. John and you're willing to buy new I find things like Neiman Marcus Last Call in their stores mm -hmm. and off of fifth and um, you have to be a little bit of an adventurous yeah, shopper. Yeah, and, and all those kinds of places. I found some, especially skirts. You can find a lot of skirts. and Because people mm -hmm. will buy the jacket and not buy the skirt right. that goes and with know, it. Right, know your color. If you buy a jacket and you're going to skirt search for it, it's not blue. There's 75 right. kinds of blue. So you have to know what it was because it's... If you've got two different color blues, going you'll be on, buying more jackets good. to match it. Mm -hmm. So that's a really good thing. And if you have a jacket, take it with you in a you know in a bag. Sure. Or, the other thing Where? I like to do is take pictures of things that I'm looking for. Like if I've got this jacket and I want to get a skirt for it, I'll take this with me, oh, so that I have a really good idea and remember what it is. It's a zippered front. It's right. got this, this, and this. And again, this is not sequins on the butt. Because I don't know any woman who looks flattering when she has a sparkle butt. Mm -hmm. So this is just enough. And I bet the jacket, when it goes over it, it doesn't pick up that yeah, much of it anyway. Yeah, just barely. It's just like right across here. And it's just a little bit, but it's not too much. Another, another thing that I wanted to talk about with you when I thought about it was the fact that I hear mothers of juniors obsessing over their kids wearing St. John. And this, I don't think this is a status symbol. I think this is a comfort level choice. They're very easy to wear because they the way they move and do everything right. else. Right. I mean, I the reason I wear it is because of my fluctuation in my weight and I know it that can go 10 pounds either way and still look okay. But to like it it shouldn't be an obsession to own as many St. John suits as you can and it shouldn't be an obsession for mothers with kids and juniors to worry about their kids not being competitive and if I they're not wearing And I don't consider that clothing. sort of age appropriate either. I, mm, not a lot, no, because I mean, if you're if you're young and you can wear a cute skirt and a cute sweater, enjoy it while you can. Right. Because there's going to be a point where you can't. You're going to look foolish wearing young clothes. And, and also, especially at a regular dog show. I mean, mm -hmm. um, it just seems to me like not the best choice. Right. Right. I mean, there's so many cute outfits available for young people. They don't have to. You don't have to wear this to, to win. This is not. This and isn't going to make you And win. often they're wearing the St. John suit that somebody found at a very good price or whatever, and it doesn't fit. And it's old. It isn't. It's 
old, it looks old, and it makes the junior look old. Mm -hmm. And I don't think juniors should be about presenting your dog. Right, and it, and that's, if anybody can take away anything from this episode, it would be for me to say that this doesn't make you a better dog handler. It's just comfort, and it's easy to wear, it's easy to pack. You can still do your job, win an outfit from H&M that's polished and put together that costs $30. So don't get all obsessed over getting a $500 St. John suit for Wednesday of Orlando because it's not going to make your dogs any better and it's not going to make you a better handler. And it may be a distraction from if, the dog you show. If, They're going to always feel a size smaller, I think. Less give, because the fabric, right. the actual and, lining and doesn't lining. give. So if you're going to buy something that's lined from St. John, then I would always size up. You know, th which makes it even more difficult is these cute jackets have snaps and they don't have zippers. So you're really at the mercy of what's holding exactly it all together what it, it, right. during the course of the day. And I like it. It's a little sparkly. It's a little fancy. And it has its own skirt. And I... I like it's it beautiful. For, a, like, for like a pretty summer national specialty or something like that. But if you wanted to tone it down, so I have this other suit with a different jacket and that takes it a whole different realm. You're right. Makes it just a little bit less Fabulous. dramatic and fancy. And five easy pieces again when mm -hmm. you're traveling. Exactly. Right. It's beautiful. But you're right because um, I do have a couple of these that are, I have a, one or two skirts that are lined like this. And... Um, you have to be that's a whole different fit and lots of times when you're buying them online they will give you measurements especially in one like this they will give you the length and the, with it the waist and the hip and with these when they mention that you know you can see that they're lined or they're black label you need to be more careful because there may be less give not because the knit is any lighter but because the fabric is constricting mm -hmm. and so when you're looking really good and it fits you really per it then it fits you perfectly right this this ribbon knit fabric has almost zero right zero give you couldn't block it if you wanted to but so then I had that jacket and I thought I love the colors so I was looking on eBay last week and I found that jacket. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is just neat and clean. Yeah, it's a cute summer outfit. I think I paid 35 or $45 for that jacket. And right now, ladies, um, because people aren't buying as much because they haven't been working mm -hmm. or they're thinking about other things, there are some really good deals out there. The prices and have dropped. It's a really good time to um, buy. It's not a great time to sell, but it's a really good time to buy. Mm -hmm. So if you see something now, grab it. Yeah, the price. I think the prices have dropped a lot I in agree. the last um, I agree. six to eight months. Another thing I wanted to mention, I don't know if anybody out there in TV land ever blocks their own skirts. But have you blocked your own skirts? Well, sort of, but tell me how you do it. I, so I take the skirt of the size that I can't wear, which whichever one's smaller and too tight, and then I find the one that I think fits me exactly right. And so let's just say, well, this one's smaller than this one. So I take the smaller one on top. Oh, Linda, the purple works with that too. Oh, sure does. Oh, yeah. I take the smaller one on top, then I safety pin them together at the seams and then always flat. And I, always flat I stretch it I stretch the smaller one out to match the one that works safety pin it together and take my steam iron and I steam it and then I don't touch it and it dries it's that's exactly what they do at the St. John store they're just they're, they're just, just putting it on a rack and stretching it and blocking it up and if you don't touch it you can't steam it on yourself because but you can this way but you can this way and if you have some of the, I have a cleaners that will block. Mm -hmm. So that has worked also for me. And another thing is the thing that I notice most about St. John's, the things I wear out right here on the skirt, probably from standing at the table. And that's the area that I find that the skirts begin to just degrade a little bit and mm -hmm. then I'm done with them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. sometimes it's going out and just finding the skirt for the same jacket you've had for 15 years. Yeah, and I, I keep a lot of my older things just because I don't see a lot of them. I don't see them everywhere I go. So um, that's why I keep them on good hangers and I try to put them away off season. And, and uh, yeah. It's a fascinating world. And you know, St. John's, probably is the question I get more often than anything else. Tell me how to do this with St. John. This was, is people are like 
St. John Besotted. I don't know quite what to say about mm -hmm. it. There's so many other wonderful things, and we, um, and there are companies that do knits that aren't as expensive as these and look neat and and seem to be. Uh, several people were telling me they were wearing them, so it's something if you want to try them. Certainly, go find a skirt, go find a top. Um, they make dresses. I like some of the dresses, mm -hmm. this, and then I put a nice St. John jacket or an, another jacket, or I mix my things. And sometimes I find for me wearing the dress is neater than wearing the jacket and the skirt and one less piece to travel with. See, I'm a skirt girl just because I'm also weight conscious. I know that if I have a dress that's this much more fabric underneath my jacket, so and I might need that much to be that much skinnier to wear the jacket, right? So I'll. I will 99.9% .9 of the time take the skirt option, but I am, but it, I've seen a couple of really cute new dress jacket combos, and they've changed their style a little bit. The the new things that are coming out are a little bit different, and maybe not quite so dog show suited. And if you can find one with pockets, great. But I don't I don't really care. Right. I've never shopped for pockets. It doesn't. I keep my bait in my bra. So. <laughs> oh right, Linda. And are you equal an equal opportunity user on no, which keep, side? No, keep my my mouse on the right and my bait on the left. Okay, because some lady took this biggest stuffed animal I've ever seen. <laughs> it was right here. And she's whipping this stuff. I must have taken it. And I'm looking up thinking, how much bigger can this thing be? Yes, <laughs> things get lost down there sometimes. And at the end of the day, there's there's sometimes things that you don't even remember you put down there. But whatever and works. One more thing to discuss. Yes. Um, like me, I understand you are your husband's dresser. I am a, my husband's dresser. Okay, and I, I've been married for 53 years, and I don't think my husband could put an outfit together to save his life. So, Linda, I know you're going to show us a couple of the things that you think about when you're dressing Mike. So Linda and I have slipped over a little closer to Mike's closet so she could pull out some of his things and we could see how a wife extraordinaire um, <laughs> puts her husband together because many of us women have to put our men out there looking really good. So you pulled some of Mike's suits from his closet. Yeah, just basically, I, mean, I, I love the segment that you did with the guys and oh, it's fine. talking about the... The clothes that was fun, and their pocket liners, mm -hmm. and their this, and, and the their that, players. and everything. Okay, so we have a nice little window pane suit here with a plum colored um, pocket square. Yeah, and, and just like try to pull the background color, the background color out, and then like a a tie that would coordinate with everything. And, and would you put like a pale pink shirt or? A I think for this one I use a white shirt because I really just like a I like a plain white shirt. Okay, like a crisp nicely ironed white shirt. I think if you take any shirt and it has a, this iron grade with a little bit of starch and it's just crisp and clean looking, it just always looks appropriate for I was for just anything. looking at it just to bring up, you know, anything mm -hmm. back here. But no, I get it. Yeah, and um, what I like about this is, I mean, there's two different patterns here. I guess you could go with, with like a Helms tooth shirt or something like that, but I, I think that's got an, enough, it's enough going, going huh? on. And the, the scale of this pattern is oh no, this way is perfect the scale of this one. Absolutely, so, this I mean, is this is really uh, you know I would do something, and I know that I like to feel texture on ties. I have, this is a, you know a texture I'm comfortable with, mm -hmm. and I always the ties when my husband was actually wearing a tie, which they don't want people to do right now, is this is definitely the, the sort of a texture that I think it looks neat, it's polished, and it looks professional. And whether you spent $10 on it or you spent you know $110 on it, they look nice. Right. right. And that's another thing. On a lot of the websites, the Real Wheel especially, and mm -hmm. uh, a couple others, you can get some fabulous ties for your men. Yeah at a really great price. The problem is with a lot of them, you can't feel the texture. So you really should buy a brand that you know how it feels. Otherwise, you could have a tie there that is not quite what you want. And you have to be careful about the widths too. Sure. Because the widths come and go with with the seasons. And sometimes they used to be, oh, I don't know, maybe two inches wider, wider than that. Right. And I thought I was so smart buying some Burberry ties on eBay a couple years ago and, found and they it. looked fantastic and I opened the box when I got them and they were straight fakes and they were also about that wide at the base. So 
um, they went, they to, went goodwill? to goodwill. Yeah. Okay. Yep. They Somebody sure who can knows how to do that will be able to, to redo that. Exactly. Okay. So this is mixing pattern with a window pane, and I think it's great. And I have to say, Mike always looks good. He's always. Um, you, you, he has a very tailored look, which is obviously what you give him. It's never like way out there or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he always, he always looks professional and neat, which I think a, a somebody yeah. with a, of his stature should. Yeah, and I, I personally like suits, like two piece suits. I'm not a big fan of sports coats and. And somebody as tall as Mike probably also keeps that line going for mm -hmm. him. It doesn't make him look actually tall, you know breaks up the line of your vision of seeing him mm -hmm. and that's a good way to present the dogs too right because sometimes right. they're down here and sometimes they're on a table and sometimes he's running around the ring plus you know when you it's like for me for ladies i prefer to buy suits a whole outfit so i don't have to and i can mix and match things probably not as well as you i can scramble it up a little bit but i don't have to think about it if i have to wake up at 5 45 and i have an eight o'clock dog I can just go pull it, and I don't have to, you know. So does this skirt match this? It's the suits are easy. I just like I like I just like having a closet full of suits. To play I, with. See, I'm a plan ahead girl. I have everything. Like if I'm if, if I'm doing a three or four or five day weekend, I have those outfits planned, and I, I look at my schedule. And I think, well, for the sporting, if I'm doing a lot of sporting dogs on day, I have to be very careful that I'm very comfortable and that my skirts are definitely you know, mid knee. Mm -hmm. And if I'm standing at the table all day doing toy dogs, I can be a little, um, I can, the skirt line can go up a little, ooh, can go up a little bit. I'm sorry, Linda, I've lost your husband. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix that. Okay, good. And so I find that I can change my skirt a little bit because I'm standing at the table all day. I'm not bending over anything. Mm -hmm. So I make those little marks. But every outfit is planned with the accessories ahead of time because I get up early in the morning too. And like we've been at certain shows, you get picked up from the hotel at 7 o'clock. So it means I'm up like at 5.15. And I don't want to think at 5.15. I want to get up and get dressed call and to action. get out. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I, I went on a little binge there where I thought I was going to have all this cute jewelry and there's a really specific costume jewelry costume jewelry line that I like, okay. use your words, called Julie Voss. Okay. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's, it's all like electroplated gold. So I have all these cute bracelets and cute necklaces and it turns out that it's just been so hot and sweaty and with all this that Code going on, I you don't just, want to keep yeah, it. And the other I thing is everything... It. I've, I've kept things really kind of simple through COVID, and um, the other thing is every class that you have to put on to do it yourself, like if I'm in a, on a judging assignment, I'm by myself in a room. It's that many more minutes that I need to do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, I try to do pieces that are not so, have to do all that Labor stuff intensive. with. Yeah, get him on, get him on, get him on, get him out. <laughs> right. This is pretty. Yeah, this is like a good, I think it's a Ted Baker suit, probably. Where is the thing? Yeah, it's a Ted Baker suit. I'm, they're just—it's great material. Yep. It's basically, it's a well. So now it's a little dirty because it's obviously been worn this weekend. But it's like a four-season suit in a very basic color. They always have fun linings. They do. And you know, it's just an. And since this is a basic suit, then I would pop it. Pop it with two patterns and. And I, orange is a happy color. Orange is a very happy color. And so anytime you're wearing orange, it's a happy color. And I saw a lot of orange um, recently at some dog shows where I've been. And I thought everybody looked happy in their orange. And that's a good thing. Because if we're going to be at a dog show, yes, we may lose, but we can still look good. Right. And, and it's the same thing. I don't like muted colors in, on men's ties and pockets. But you squares. don't make any attempt in any given day to match. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> When we were looking at suits today. Hopefully not. <laughs> if it happens, it's truly a coincidence. But, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I just try to have some color and, you know, just. Do you know his sizes special. and things? Oh, or do you have of to course. Go, yeah. Of course. It wasn't until I was traveling so much and judging, I think, that my husband even bought his own underwear. So that's the depth to which I had provided. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm drawing the line there. And he so. went and he said to me, what, he, I was away at one time and he needed to replenish. And he said, what size underwear do I wear? I was like, what? <laughs> that's how bad. And then, you know, the socks, you know, the, this only goes, you do not wear your brown socks with the navy jacket. <laughs> like, okay. yeah, I, I like the, the sock thing that they have going on now yeah, to an too. extent. 
but I don't like it if the pants are, show, are so short that that's all you can see. Right. It's Especially, just nice if the guy goes like this. Right. Yes. Yeah. Because I think it's in the ring. I've seen a lot of really kind of like ankle pants that are short. What? And then you see the socks more than you see the dog. I'm anal so. compulsive, so if I drop something, I have to pick it up. So here we go. I noticed um, we spoke to um, a fellow judge, and he was saying to me he wears ankle boot shoes mm -hmm. because he finds it makes the pant leg down at the bottom lay just perfectly. Oh. And I thought that was an interesting thing to think about, something I never did. And he's right. He always looks very, you know, his pants yeah. are never in the wrong place. The nice thing about a gray suit like this is any basic gray suit, Considering we have all these circuits now that are four and five days long, you can't possibly go on the road for a month and pack 20 different outfits if you're a man. If you're a girl, yes, but not a man. Well, after so, all. <laughs> after all. But so I mean, these basic gray suits, so you have, uh, you pack the suit, you pack three different shirts, you pack And I three notice different you have the, everything with it so that you, yes. he knows this is, yes. this is it. When I put it together, I put the socks on here, the tie on here, the pocket square in here, and then, you know, you could take this tie Yep. and the pocket square that went you with it. You could put the orange one on a gray suit. Yeah. You could, if you have uh, five or six basic suits. Five easy pieces. Five easy, five easy pieces, and you hang them up at the end of the day, and we always turn our pockets inside out so they air out. Well, Phil Booth told us that he takes these to a, a tailor and he has another piece of fabric like a pocket sewn in there that he can I don't know if he velcros it away doesn't he can take the pocket out and, and, and wash it and put it back in that's very special I'll have to, I'll have I, to yes I mean come on step food. it up Linda <laughs> step it up and he said it saves his suits which oh, it does okay. and it was a great idea and he's he said he's done that for years and um so there's another tip, and I remind everybody, if you haven't seen our episode with the gentleman, um, they also talked That's about three funny. pairs of socks, not three colors of socks. It's either navy, brown, or black, and then he doesn't have to think about it, and yet Peter Kubas changes his shoelaces to match his clothes. So <laughs> it's like, and I thought we were divas, oh no, 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 but I mean, there's another really good idea to save the suits, put the pocket liners in them. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? So Linda dresses her man and herself from top of her head, top of her toes, and the same with Mike. And I think that um, I think that's probably one of the keys to success is look good, look the part, no matter what it is. It doesn't have. Linda has been very honest and said that she shops on all kinds of sites and is looking for the best prices that she can find for the outfit she's going to wear. And you don't have to spend a ton of money. You just have to be smart in the choices that you make. Check the measurements on things and make sure that they are what you want, not just something that attracted your eye, or you're going to end up with a closet full of things that make no sense. Don't you think you have to have a, a kind of a vision of what you need? You do, and you have to know what looks good on you. Absolutely. You take a, somebody has to tell you, you know, it's a little tight. Maybe not. And, it, it, and nobody will friend. tell you. Probably. A good friend will tell you. A good right. friend won't let you walk around looking foolish. So you just I think you need to know your body style and what looks good on you and experiment and figure out what looks good on you, especially in the knits. Because it's some, it, they look great on some people and some people maybe not so much. And, and knits are not... The, it, they're not the only thing you can wear. I right. mean, you can wear, you can get some beautiful worst of world skirts at the same situations right. in the same There's places. Child you, knits. Yeah. There's tons of places that still sell beautiful separates and suits. And even though, it, you know, business casual is a new thing, there's still plenty of places to buy really cute dog show clothes. It doesn't all have to be St. John. If you can hold your weight, the world is your own. Or you could have a few things that you buy and you decide, Excellent. I'm wearing these now mm -hmm. and I didn't spend a lot of money on them and so if I have to move them on or put them in the back of the closet for a bit, I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Sure. And accessorize, accessorize, and accessorize. Accessor you can, I mean, I have well, a little, I have a little stuff you do with that. Can yeah, I have a little dress on today that's just a little, and I've got a great little um, sequin belt that I put on it and I have my, my little comfort vests that I wear that keep me warm and this is a little short one and then I put a scarf on and a scarf pin and that's as much as I chose to wear and it's it's neat it's fine I wouldn't wear it if I was going to a fancy show 
but um, just to be around. It's just comfortable, and I have all my comfortable shoes, too. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, and I know you do watch, um, we can take the advice of Linda Pitts, one of the stars of the dog world, and what she does with her husband, Mike, and it could be you and the significant other in your home or whoever you are living with. Two guys could be helping each other dress. Two women could as well. So take the tips that we've given you today. Develop your own sense of style and go for it. The worst you can do is try something and find it didn't work this time and you'll know next time not to do it again. I want to thank Linda for her time. Oh, thank and you. it was, it was good fun. to just have fun to sit and chat with you, Linda. Girl talk. Girl talk. <laughs> thank you, Linda. You're very welcome. And so it's Elaine Lessig on behalf of the K9 Chronicle on their webpage and on their Facebook page with Closet Confidential, Linda Pitts. Saying bye to everybody, and we'll see you again down the road. Keep looking for those episodes. Bye. Bad move. <laughs> <laughs>